Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We're on our way to Tokyo. We're in the Supra RZ97. Tokyo Expressway, one of our favourite grinds in the World Touring Car 600. As you can see there on the cover picture, we have the Supra. That's what we're racing today. Let's have a look at the settings. Sports hard tyres, we're at 599.98. As close to 600 as you can get, really, without being there. 668 brake horsepower. Fully customizable suspension, everything default. Fully customizable diff, everything default. Downforce 47 and 289, we've used that to tune the the, uh, the car. ECU customizable at 100, power restrictor at 100. Transmission manual at 330. Now we've done that because we're going to trade off the PP difference between the manual and the fully customizable racing. We've done that so we can put in the high ultra high RPM turbocharger, sports intercooler, racing silencer, sorry, air cleaner, silencer and exhaust manifold all on racing, brake system, brake pads all on racing, brake balance controller pushed to the front so we can even out the front tyre wear, racing clutch and flywheel, carbon prop shaft and we have the increased body rigidity installed. Now. You could go a different way. You could drop the ultra high RPM turbo, put on the normal high RPM turbo, and then pop in your engine balance tuning, which will give you probably four or five brake horsepower less, but you'll probably get a little bit more fuel economy. Just have to see how you go. See what you feel you want to do once you drive this. The torque is extremely high in this car at the high end of the RPM. So with that being the case, we're going to one-stop this, and we're going to have to use some assist. Stretch control one, default ABS, counter steering, assistance on strong. Controllers, force feedback max torque five, force feedback sensitivity six. We're on a G29. It's not the best wheel on the market, but it's great introductory wheel if you want to get on and get up, get into the process. So if you're using any sort of wheel that's this for the g29 for me specifically should we get stuck into the race see how we go here we go then fuel on lean fuel on one fuel economy is going to be difficult so we might have to manage that as we go but we've done 26 on mile and that's because we were just getting used to the car trying to sort out the tune make everything right this is car is going to hit something in the 210 mile an hour range when we have the full run of the length of the straight. We're not including any sort of drafting sort of equation in there. We just need this thing to stop as we get into the corner. And we've caught the front four within two and a half seconds of the front four. this thing's gonna move we'll try and short shift a little bit just to give us a chance on the fuel mr. teammate want to be kind and generous to you I'm gonna slip up your inside you kept me honest there young man thank you so gearing's a bit of a pick on this one like I say, the ultra high RPM turbo just goes. We've just got to manage the slide. We want that clean race bonus, so let's just let's just manage this first lap. We'll throw the car at it for the second lap. It'll also give us chance to just manage this fuel as we go. See what I mean about the slide? That counter steer assistance is majorly important for me, the way I drive. Please don't shoot me for using it. Brake on the 200. Maybe if we didn't use such high revs on the engine braking, we wouldn't use so much fuel either, but into second gear early. Now let's look at the top speed, see where we're gonna go. I don't know how fast this car can go down this straight with draft. 2.75 seconds away. Gallo first, Kukabun second, here's our third. We're in top gear already. Suswillow in fifth, Fraga in sixth. 
Blazen in seventh, Beauvoir in eighth, and we're approaching first already. 200 mile an hour before we're out of the tunnel. As we crest the tunnel rise, 207, 208, 209, 210. We're going to break just after that water. And Mr. Mr. Gallo is pushing on our door there. This supper is a beast. The 2J engine absolutely flying. I don't think we've got enough fuel if we carry on doing that. Just going to have to manage these laps now. We know we can be extremely quick with that 210 down the start finish straight. Just breaking into this corner nice and casually. Just half throttle. Give it some gas. Then down to third for this corner. Up a gear again. Let's just manage it. 8.3 seconds up. So just put him in a bad position. He's going to go. We'll let him run. Know when to hold him, know when to fold him. That's what they say. Gonna break on the 200, so let's just short shift our way to there. See how he's like on the brakes. He's gonna be with us all the way. He's gonna break much later. Don't let him trick you on the apex. We wanna use his draft down the start finish straight if we can stay with him. This is going to be a 2.11 on the second lap by the looks of it. Got 4.2 laps of fuel. We're up into sixth before the pit lane entry. Four laps of fuel left at that point. That's a 2.13 first lap. So not as we anticipated. Not as quick, but we'll see how we do on the next lap. 202. 208 she's extremely quick and she's manageable she's drivable with that counter steer maybe I need to learn how to tune a car better to dial out the counter steer requirement But this is about, the whole channel is about getting gold as an old retired, I oh, old retarded, I meant to say retired, but I'm not retired, but an old fat, slow, grey haired old dude trying to get gold and trying to grind. That's what this channel's all about. I'm slightly worse than that though, I'm, I'm a bit broken. My body's not what it used to be, but hey. If you're an older dude and you're trying to get these gold medals and you're trying to win races, this is how you do it. You don't have to learn all the the little secrets. These are just out of the box setups that anybody can make. And then we're just using the assist to manage how we drive the car. Assists are there to make you faster as well, I believe. I know if you're trying to be one of the top dudes. If you're trying to compete with that, you're not going to use the assists. And farewell to you. Good on you. If you're trying to do it that way, that's up to you. I know I'm not capable. Is this going to be a 212 then? 3.0 on the lap. On the fuel. Gonna have to try and manage a little bit more. 2.9. That's where we'd be running out of fuel and be running into the pit lane so a 2.12.3 we're in sixth gear already we could probably move that up one more notch and go 3.40 on the old uh, on the old uh, gear length if we wanted to going to break early take off see how it lurches the front end of the car forward 
could have probably been on the gas earlier, but we are trying to conserve a bit of fuel. Just going to lift in here. We're winning the race with 4.8 seconds clear at this point. Short shifting through there. There's the way. Keep it smooth. Thread the needle, as they say. Just had to counter steer into the corner. So we're just up on our previous lap time. We're just trying to do it properly. We're still five seconds ahead, 4.9, well, 4.2 now. We're losing a bit of distance on the cars behind us, so they're coming at us. Let's break on the 200 again. A little bit deep that time. Can't get the car to turn. Two tenths up, that'll be a two, 12, one. Can we see this car getting down in the two tenths? We'll just be running out of fuel at this rate just before we get to the pit line, which isn't brilliant. There's a 2.11.7. So we're a bit quicker out the final corner then. We need this car in the two tens to match its capability. She's a bit slidey. Those rear tires are looking all right actually. We've tried to be generous with them. I think we still need to change them for the second half of the race. I don't think it's worth backing off and not pushing. I think we would I think we would gain time rather than lose time if we were to change the tires. It only takes three or four seconds to change the tires where I think we could lose a lot more time if we didn't change them felt better through that line there we got a bit longer corner two seconds up because we've improved our driving line with smoother It'd be nice if this lap was a 2.09 before the break. That would be tremendous. Only 0.8 of a second up. Or is that 0.6? I haven't got my glasses on as he suddenly realises, where did he put his glasses? Oh my lord! Shouldn't be driving when you're blind. Yeah, we're gonna have to go casually into the pits at this point. There's a 209. Just gonna turn that down to two. Sacrifice a bit of pace to get us to that uh, final line. We're seven seconds in the lead over Mr. Gallo. He should be going to the pits this lap, I would have thought. Mr. Gallo's actually carried on. He has not pitted. He's actually changed strategy then. That's interesting. We forced a change from Mr. Gallo. Now, I don't think this is a particularly difficult setup to drive with the assists. It's actually really quite smooth and steady. But I wonder what's forced the change from Mr. Gallo here. Has he dropped to a one-stop strategy? 
Because if he can do six laps, he only has to stop once. Got to be careful with this fuel. 9.7 seconds in the lead. before we hit the pit lane we've had to really turn it down turn it back up nine point five seconds into the lead as we go through into the pit lane and run out of gas and we got to take a whole tank Mr. Gallo follows us into the pits there on his softs. He had 24% of fuel. He's probably going to leave the pits before we are. Sus Willow's come in. Who's coming in next? Cookabun goes on through. Yeah, we are taking all the fuel. Are we going to go out of the pits? There we go. So we're out before they are. So Cookabun leads the race. Fraga in second. Is Al third. Blazan in fourth. Bouvoir in fifth. We come out of the pits in sixth, but we've got somebody chasing hard on our tail. Gallo leaves the pits in seventh. Mr. Miazano in eighth. So we are 15 seconds off the lead. 5.7 laps of fuel left. Now, we've already got a 2.09 in. What I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to turn the fuel down. I'm going to give myself the last three laps at this. We're going to give ourselves a chance. We know the rest of the boys are going to pit. We think Gallo, who's only 1.6 seconds back now, is just on a one-stop strategy. So if we can manage that and get the fuel on our side, we can really tank the last three. An ultralight fuel would be phenomenal. We're going to give ourselves the fuel to do it. But we're not going to slack off because we've dropped the fuel, fuel map. We are going to keep powering down. It should make the car more drivable. See us top out on the revs just then. See, we're already three seconds ahead of Gallo already. So, Mr. Boubois now on our side, it's just 1.8 seconds in the lead. I've just lifted a bit, Mr. Boubois running a wider apex. Now we're going to give ourselves the full fuel map. Mr. Frog has gone to the pits. Cookabun's carried on. Blazan's gone in. Hizal's gone in. Mr. Bouvoir's gone in. So Cookabun is who we're chasing down now. 5.1 laps of fuel to go. Gallo, 5.7 seconds behind us. 11 seconds now to... Trying to change down and do the fuel map is a bit tricky. Try and do the fuel map down whilst you're accelerating is a swine. There it is, fuel map three. Just got to concentrate while we're going through here. Try and keep the power down. How far will Cookabun go, do you think, before he pits? I've never seen Gallo run any other pit stop. I've had somebody tell me that Gallo has a race where he never pits. But I've yet to see that. If 
your map three, quarter of a second down. Go to fuel map one now, because we want the fuel map coming out this final corner. If we're only a quarter of a second down, we're going to give ourselves a chance at a 209 again. Point six of a second down. Well, we're saving fuel at this point. So Cookerbun's gone to the pits with seven seconds ahead of Gallo and we've got four laps to do. There we go, that was a 210-267, so this is a decently quick car. I do wonder what it'd be like if I'd chosen to go the other route to see if we have plenty more fuel. We probably have a similar top speed, we're just topping out there, so... That's not a bad call on the fuel, on the actual gear ratios. Let's see if we can give this some. Fuel map's down again, that's the way. Just want to try and save that fuel to make sure we've got some to get to the end. That'll be what we need to do, that's what we want to do. We're not racing anybody but ourselves now, we're nine seconds in the lead. Just three tenths down. We'll see if we can make that up. Just touched the wall fractionally. We're not wall riding, we're just brushing it with the rear of the car. Just had to change down there to check the slide. Just point one eight five off. Front end of the car's washed out, we've managed to slow it down. We've lost the lap time though. That's a shame. Like I said, if I could tune it that bit more to make it that tr bit more drivable, it might be a great car. to drive the NSX at this time a whole second off now we're going to start to power it through we'll see where the last three laps take us so tyres are looking decent back left is a little bit more worn but let's see where we go 10 seconds in the lead we haven't got any more stops to make I wonder if anybody else behind us is going to we're in first, Gallo second, Cookerbun third, Suswillow fourth, Yamanaka fifth, Larsen sixth, Fragrin eighth, and Mr. Solis in, sorry, Fragrin seventh, and Mr. Solis in eighth. Interesting that our teammate, Mr. Fragrin, is down there in seventh place. He's obviously got a different tune. Maybe he's playing it safe on the gas, or he's had to trade off for softs. Now we are aiming to get some quicker laps in, so let's do it. We've got the fuel map where we want it. It's probably a little bit too narrow there. I turned it too early, in other words. Fourth gear was the right gear. Purple by three tenths, that's decent. Get this slowed down, there we go. We had the back end power sliding then. Rears are starting to look like they've been taking a beating. Breaking on the 200, I'm not going to dive in early, I'm going to give it late. Second gear, try and turn the car in, keep the speed going, there it is. A little bit of opposite lock. 0.172 up, let's see if we've got the speed. 
I think we've got the fuel. 15 seconds in the lead. Now we're looking to see if we're going to go sub sub 27. A 2094, not the fastest car we've had. Let's see if we can do a 208. That would be nice. Gallo's gone to the pit, so he has chosen to uh, continue with a two-stop. Don't actually see why that's a thing. He's just given up his place in the race to Mr. Cookabun there. Totally broken him then, haven't we? 209.414, fastest lap of the race. Gallo is capable of doing that time of time. Just two tenths down. Let's see if we can turn in later. We did on the power earlier. Give it more power. That's the way. See if we can do the same here. Brake, 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 brake. Third gear to pull it round. Try and keep the speed in. I don't think we managed it. We're purple. Just trying to keep the car going faster and faster. Really late on the gas there. Just trying to get the car around the corner by lifting and coasting and trying to get it pushed through. Massive opposite lock there. We're faster. It's not going to be a 208. We might have to do that on the last lap. I think we're going to have the fuel. We're going to be okay, I think. Or we might run out before the line when we come round again. But let's just see how we go. No, I think we're going to be good. There's a 209.320. Can we do better? The rear tyres are looking really shot. Let's see how we go. 206, 207, 208, 209, 210, 211. Throttle it early. Get it turned in on the gas early. Come on. We've got to push, 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 push. We want that 208. We want a decent car out of this. A great recommendation for it. It would really good be a little bit of a trophy in its own trophy cabinet. That fell slow into there even though we were purple. Again, it fell slow, but it felt flowing. Be deceptive at this point. Just a little touch with the back bumper. No, one, two tenths down. See if we can make it up here. Oh, I think we're blowing it there. And I think we could run out of fuel before we cross the line. But I'm not going to knock it. Decent car. Very quick. Could be tuned better. Could have a better driver. But it ticks all the boxes. Yeah, we're a little down. The tire, the rear tyres are looking really ropey now. And that's where the difference is. But a 209.320 is pretty decent. It's not a 208, but I think that's a driver. Zero fuel. We're going to run out before the line. There we go, we're out of fuel, but we're through it and we win the race. That's actually pretty decent. Pretty decent. I didn't actually look at the lap time. Let's see where it goes. So a 209.320, it's just outside the 27s. Mm, there's a bit of tune work to do there, I think. Not quite a 26. But 
just a moment's pause there it was a different race Gallo pitted at a different time and put himself into trouble look he put himself into fourth place we've really beaten him to a pulp our teammate Mr Fraga back there 46 seconds slower than we did we actually won that race by 34 seconds so it's a definite contender and not one to be overlooked please do choose it if you do did we get the clean race bonus we did so good for the clean race bonus great little car and there she is puts us to the 18 million happy days and with that folks i'd just like to say thank you very much 99.7 miles for the day i did get a ticket i got a six star engine part ticket for that earlier for completing the day's ticket but have a good one all the best folks we'll see you on the next one take care